And the police administration says it will arrest and prosecute applicants who make false representations in this year's recruitment exercise, which began on Wednesday, May 11. The Director of Public Affairs, Superintendent Sefas Arthur, says the police will use electronic approach to prevent fraudulent acts to make the process more credible. The Ghana police on Monday, May 9, released a notice for recruitment into the service. The exercise reportedly began throughout the country on Wednesday, May 11. Unlike the previous years, prospective applicants are to purchase e-vouchers from GCB banks across the country to support their registration. Everything is going to be done online, filling in of your information and everything. Once you procure the e-voucher and you peel off or you scratch, some numbers will be revealed. They are your PIN code and your SN number. So we are going to reduce as much as possible human involvement, human intervention in the process of the recruitment. Director of Police Public Affairs, Sefa Zatha, also explained some modalities of the exercise. This one is for only WASI holders. Unless, of course, you have degree all right, but because you pass your SSE, you are shelving your degree and coming with your SSE or WASI certificate. But you must know that you are not joining the police service with SSE, your WASI certificate and later pull out your degree and claim any advantage. That is not going to be considered. You may even be sanctioned. The initial nationwide e-recruitment registration exercise is expected to end on May 31. However, the first day of the process has encountered minor technical hitches leading to some difficulty in assessing the form online. The police is therefore calling on the applicants to exercise the patience as all efforts are underway to rectify the situation. A release signed by Director of Police Public Affairs advised prospective applicants not to rush to acquire or other cities in a bid to purchase the e-vouchers as they are available in every GCB bank branches across the country.